Okay, now that we know about inscribed angles and some of the theorems that um, tell us how to use them, let's actually put it to use. Okay, first, I want you to find the value of the variable, and our variable is x. It's an inscribed angle. We know that the intercepted arc is 74 degrees, and we also know from our theorem that it's exactly half of that intercepted arc, so it's half of 74 degrees. So that angle is 37 degrees. All right, here we go. I've given you a diagram, and I want you to find the indicated measure. The first thing I want you to do is find the measure of angle A. Well, angle A interrupts arc BC. But, oh, now wait a minute. I'm looking at arc BC, and that's a semicircle. So then I notice that chord BC is a diameter. So I know right away this has to be a right triangle. Therefore, A must be a right angle and is 90 degrees. Okay, let's look at finding the measure of angle C. Well, I know that A is 90 degrees, so the other two acute angles must add up to 90 degrees. So if I take 90 minus my other acute angle of 28, I'm going to get that angle C is 62 degrees. Now, I want to find the length of chord BC. Well, uh, it's a right triangle, and I know two sides, so I'm going to use the, the Pythagorean theorem. And I'm going to say c squared, equal, c squared equals a squared plus b squared. c squared has to be the side I'm trying to find, which is my diameter, equals 3.9 squared plus 7.3 squared. I'm going to plug that into my calculator, and I'm going to get that c squared equals 68.5, but I don't want c squared. I want c so I'm going to take the square root of both sides, and I'm going to get that C, or my chord CB, is 8.28 units long. Now, we want to find the measure of arc AC. Well, it is interrupted by angle B, so we know it's exactly two times the size of angle B, and angle B is 28 degrees, so it's 2 times 28. So arc AC is 56 degrees. Now look at arc AB. It is the inter intercepted arc of angle C. Well, I know that angle C is 62 degrees because we just did that. So I know arc AB has to be twice the intercepted, I mean, uh, twice the degrees of the intercepted angle. And so I'm going to multiply 62 by 2, and I'm going to get that arc AB is 124 degrees. Okay, this is the kind of thing that you're going to be doing in your homework. All right, now let's look at this quadrilateral. Now remember, a quadrilateral can only be inscribed in a circle if it's Opposite angles are supplementary. So that means that angle D and angle M, when they added together, must be 180 degrees. So therefore, I know that N, it's not 180, N is 80 degrees. Sorry about that. Okay. Now, I also know that angle A and angle C have to add up to 180. So I'm going to plug that in my calculator, solve that, and I'm going to get that M is 115 degrees. All right, now the last one, this is a little more complex because I've got to think about it. I want to find the measure of arc CD. And arc CD is drawn with an X. They've shown it to me there, but they haven't given me an angle measure of the, uh, to, you know, a central angle or an uh, inscribed angle or anything that would help me figure that out. So what I've got to do is figure out other arc measures first. So I'm looking at my big arc BC, and I know that is formed by the angle, inscribed angle A, and is exactly two times the length of 
angle A, so I took 2 times 87, and I know that arc BC is 174 degrees. Okay, then I'm also going to look at my arc AD, and I know that it is formed by the uh, angle C, so it is twice angle C, so 2 times 27 gives me 54. And then I think, well, you know what? I've got enough information here. I know that a circle has 360 degrees. So if I take 174 plus 54 plus x plus 2x, I have to get oh, 360 degrees. So now I'm going to combine like terms, and I'm going to get 228 plus 3x equals 360. I'm going to use inverse operations, and I'm going to solve this, and I'm going to get that arc DC is 44 degrees. Okay, you're going to be doing problems like this in your homework. And I think this is the last one, but let me go one more. Nope, I got two more. Sorry. This is a uh, theorem I left out of the last one, and it says that an angle formed by a chord and a tangent that intersect on a circle. So notice that chord AC and tangent um, CJ intersect at point C. So therefore, the angle that those two form is exactly half the measure of the intercepted arc. So the intercepted arc is ABC. So angle X is half of that. And let's use this. All right, I want you to find the measure of angle 3. Well, I know that the uh, angle 3 is half of the intercepted arc, and the intercepted arc is 242. So half of 242 is 121 degrees. Okay, I think we've done enough of these to where you can do your homework. You might have to kind of think about some of them, but get all of your theorems out because you're going to be using them.